What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Clash Royale video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a pretty awesome deck that I actually used to push through Arena 4 and 5. As you can see, it consists of a Valkyrie, Zap Spell, Goblin Barrel, Baby Dragon, Fireball, Skeleton Army, Musketeer, and Minion Horde. At a 3.6 elixir cost, maybe a little bit on the expensive side, but it does actually work. I'm about to show you guys a replay. Here we go, and let's go ahead and watch that. And um, I actually won a few minutes ago 29 trophies gained from a guy using a prince and a balloon, apparently. I don't remember this battle, but apparently I won. <laughs> um, I'm going to wait till my elixir fills up, and then I'm going to place my minion horde down, apparently, in the front. And he's just going to waste elixir, full elixir. He kept doing that. He kept uh, torturing me with that baby dragon. And then he's going to come in with the balloon on the other side. I kept having to fireball that balloon, which was a bit frustrating because... I really want to uh, use Minion Horde on that, but I uh, didn't have Minion Horde in there, so that Skeleton Army blows up. Skeleton Army goes down, and it's a pretty even game. He actually has some damage on both of my towers, but not much to make a huge difference. So now it looks like he's going to try to set up with his Witch, waiting on me. And he does put his Witch on the front, and I go with my Valkyrie to kill that, and then Minion Horde to hopefully go after the... Uh, wizard, which doesn't works out because of, which doesn't work out because of the witch, and the prince ends up wrecking that tower. That tower goes down pretty soon. Oh no, it doesn't go down. Okay, 600, 600 uh, hit points left on that tower, and then it looks like I'm getting ready with my fireball for some reason. And let's go ahead and speed this up. There we go. I'm gonna go on my baby dragon. That's gonna uh, battle with his, even it out, and he's gonna come in. We're going to even that out. Not much of a difference there. He's going to come in with his balloon. I still didn't have that Stang Minion Horde. And I really didn't want to play it right there because it wouldn't have kind of defeated the purpose. I let that Skeleton Army go, which probably wasn't the best idea. He comes with a Prince. I put a Valkyrie and a Minion Horde down to get that Baby Dragon. Goblin Barrel going in on the tower. Huge damage with that Goblin Barrel. And a Balloon with a Minion Horde push comes in. And a Musketeer wrecks that Balloon. Valkyrie goes in with Baby Dragon and Musketeer. And then Goblin Barrel eventually wrecks that tower. So now we're even. And I go crazy on the other side with a Minion Horde and a Skeleton Army push. And boom, that tower's dead because he played his Balloon. And the match is over, folks. That was probably one of the best comebacks I've ever done. I actually forgot that I even did that. And it was just a few minutes ago. <laughs> came here and watched the replay and didn't even remember uh, exactly how I won or what happened. So let's go ahead and... Okay, we have our main deck. <coughs> sorry, about, uh, sorry about that, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get into some live attacks with this deck and we'll see how it works out. So let's go ahead and hit that battle button and let's see what we get. Alright, don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm not even going to try. Let's go ahead and wait to see what he's going to do. Nothing? Okay, we'll play a baby dragon in the front just to see what he has to- Oh, he has a P.E.K.K.A. Good gracious alive. Skeleton army to kill that. Uh-oh, 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 we're in trouble. Okay, maybe not. Minion horde to kill that. Come on, minion horde. Do it, do it. Okay, minion horde's gonna take that- Oh my gosh! Kill it! Don't get a hit. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, that sucks. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. We're actually pretty even. I didn't see the damage we got on the other tower. Let's go ahead, Musketeer out here. Oh, I didn't just... Gosh, dang, that was so stupid. I am costing the game right here, guys. I am going to cost us the game. Baby Dragon, Valkyrie, Musketeer, push. Okay, let's just, let's just reset everything here. Wow, he has that stupid lightning spell. Okay, whatever. Um, Valkyrie's gonna get three swings, and then let's go ahead and wait for our elixir to load back. Good gracious. Okay. Zap spell, so that doesn't take out my tower. And it might actually still do it. No? Okay. A little bit of damage. Let's go ahead and go absolutely insane. That was probably the dumbest thing I've ever done, but it will kill that- Oh, the witch went down in flames! Oh my gosh! And there's a tower! Wow. Wow, that, that, that quick. 
He does have that other tower secured because of that lightning spell. But still, we just went crazy with that minion towards skeleton army push. And he just reacted a little bit too late. We'll go ahead and put a Valkyrie right there. And Valkyrie gonna not stop that witch. I mean, that prince die. Okay, good. All right. We'll go ahead, Baby Dragon Musketeer on this other side. As I said earlier, Lightning Spell will do work. He is low on Elixir, so let's go ahead and put in our Minion Horde right here. And then how about how about a Goblin Barrel to finish that tower off? No, it's not needed. Zap Spell. Oh, it's not going to die. Okay. I'm going to let that go, and we're just going to go crazy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Pekka cannot. You're, ne you're not doing this. Die. Right now. Okay. Baby Dragon, Valkyrie, and then that should finish off the game. I know he has lightning, but he just used it. Now we're going to go in with a Goblin Barrel. Only 15 seconds left. This should be GG well played against Gedusahe. I said I wasn't going to try to pronounce it. Can it be a three crown? Oh, three crown. Yes, baby. Three crowns. That's what I'm talking about. Three crown victory on our first battle, and that just goes to show you how good this deck is. It gets me a little bit hyper, but let's go ahead and get back here, and then um, nothing really to see or do. Let's go ahead and open the silver chest. Nothing big from there. Uh, start and unlock, and then battle. All right, let's get into another battle. See if we can get three wins in this episode. If we go 3-0 and undefeated, let's see what he's got, or she, Chris from Clash Elite. Let's go ahead. I guess we'll go with a Valkyrie in the back. I don't really know. He's just wasting Elixir right here. And zap that. Boom. And we'll go with a Skeleton Army right there. And because we have so much Elixir right now, we'll go ahead and Goblin Barrel that tower. And that should actually take it out if he doesn't play anything. Bomber. Good bomber. Good bomber from him. Good bomber, but that doesn't really matter because that tower is dead. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and we'll set up whenever we feel. Okay. I'm going to let that goblin barrel go. Probably wasn't the best idea, but I'm just going to do it because I'm an idiot. Valkyrie in the back. And I really want my baby dragon right now, but it's the last thing in the cycle. So let's go ahead and put a musketeer behind this Valkyrie. And then, what is he going to play? I guess we'll go with Skeleton Army, Baby Dragon. Wow, what a push right there. Oh, good Minion Horde, Zap Spell. There it is. Come on, Baby Dragon. Good job. Get those Archers. Musketeers doing work. Okay, not bad. We're going to save our Elixir. That tower will get extremely low. Bomber doesn't really matter. He'll only get one hit. I believe the Spear Goblin will get a hit, though. And we do have to defend that Goblin Barrel! Ah! Frustrating. Valkyrie below the minions. Come on. Yes, good job, Valkyrie. One swing. Boom. Two swings. Boom. Good job. Let's go ahead and fireball that minion horde right there. Boom. And got the bomber. Wow. Unbelievable luck. Let's go ahead and go insane. Boom, boom. Goblin barrel. And that should give us the second crown. Yes, it will. Okay. Alrighty then. Musketeer's going down. And he played a defensive goblin barrel right there. We'll go ahead and zap all of that. And our king tap. Oh, goodness. Okay. No, it's not gonna... Uh-oh. Okay, we're in a bit of a... Bit of a mush right here. Okay, no. Never mind. It's all good. Let's go ahead and play with a minion horde. Get those archers down and a goblin barrel on the tower. And that should be the end of the game. GG well played against Chris from Clash Elite. Go ahead and zap that tower and that will be the end of the game. Um, Two wins. Two wins, okay. Can we get a third? Can we get a third before I end this episode? Where are we on time? 9.38. Let's go ahead and get a third. Come on now. Come on now. Wait, have we... Have we played? Have we played three battles? Sorry about that mid sentence pause right there. 
but um, I got cut off by my storage. It looks like we actually did get three wins. I think we did get three wins. I don't know. I can't remember. I need to go back and look. All right, let's just go ahead and battle. I don't think uh, I, I don't think we did three. I, I really don't think we did three. I'm pretty sure we did one. But the, but we got two wins. We know for sure. Let's go ahead and get this on. And I guess I'll go with a Valkyrie in the back. And see what he is. Why is he wasting elixir? Don't know. Don't know why people do that. But we can, however, play a... Oh, gosh. Let's go ahead and play a minion horde right there. That should take care of all that. Valkyrie goes down. Giant goes down pretty soon after it. And then we will go with a... Zap spell right there. Was it too early? Oh, that was close. Okay, I barely caught it. Is he going to defend that minion horde? Wow. Let's go ahead and goblin barrel that other tower. Valkyrie got that tower. Huge damage on that tower, and that tower, and that tower, and that tower. My goodness. Musketeer are going to get there just in time. Let's go ahead and go with a baby dragon. Baby dragon. Wow, that's a, that's a card now. Baby dragon, guys. We're going to set up with a baby dragon. Oh, goodness. Okay. Skeleton army. Did not see that coming. Uh, oh, gosh. Valkyrie, then. Valkyrie should take care of that. Zap spell will handle that. I didn't need to do that zap spell. But whatever, whatever, whatever. Valkyrie dies, and we can't set up. But that's okay. Because we can... Or what do we do? What do we do, guys? Help me. Help me, help me. Uh... I guess minion horde surrounding that. There's a lot of counters to that. I don't know if that was a good idea. But the minion horde surrounds the baby dragon and that tower is gone. Alrighty then. We'll go ahead and play baby uh, skeleton army right here to kill that prince. And what a deck this is, folks. Musketeer right there to get that baby dragon. And then zap spell. Boom. Taking care of that goblin barrel. He does have a lot of damage on that tower. But I'm not worried about it. Let's go ahead and fireball that. And then go in with a Valkyrie to match his. And we'll put a baby dragon right there. Okay. So we're going to set up again. Our Valkyrie's almost dead. So we're actually going to play a minion horde right here. To kill that baby dragon. And then a musketeer with the baby dragon and the minions. And we'll go ahead. Oh, that prince will die, I think. Yeah, the prince will die. Goblin barrel. Not probably needed right there. Let's go ahead and zap these minions. There we go. They won't be able to do anything. And with 11 seconds left, why don't we just fireball that like an idiot? Minion horde. Musketeer. And that prince charging at the tower. It's over. Three wins. I... I think I'm going to have to go back and watch <laughs> three wins, I guess. Um, you guys can go back and count for me. I don't know, but that was a lot of wins in one episode. Um, actually, we might go in for another battle. Should we go in for another battle? Should we? I don't know if we should. I want to. Should we go? Should we jinx it or should we end on a good note? I think we're going to end on a good note. I think I'm going to leave you guys hanging for now. I don't know why I would leave you hanging. That doesn't make any sense at all, but apparently I'm just an idiot today. So go ahead and use that deck if you want in Arena 4 and Arena 5. As you just saw, it is awesome. Let me go ahead and show you guys my battle log. I just won one, two, three, four, five straight victories. So that is pretty awesome. And as you can see, I had one loss there, two losses, and then more victories, three losses. Only three losses with that deck. Only three. That's pretty awesome. So we were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We were eight and three. That's not bad at all. And especially when we had those last five solid at the end. So I guess we had. I guess we had four in a row. Yeah, four wins straight. Awesome. Four wins in one video. That is a good video. I will see you guys tomorrow because it's every day, bro. Why did I just copy Jake Paul?